Fadi Bakhtari is the president and CEO of Petros Pharmaceuticals. Oh, look at that. He's here right now. Fadi, welcome. P Thank you, Spencer. Good to be with you. Ticker PTPI. Um, uh, tell us about uh, Petros and what, because, you know, the theme of this conference, small caps, but also the theme of this track is, uh, is, is transformational healthcare. So what transformative healthcare products you are you trying to solve over at Petros? That's a, that's a great question. I think that uh, I'll piggyback on the most recent frontier of transformational medicine, the digital digitalization of uh, healthcare. We will see platforms such as For Hims or Get Roman or Lemonade Health, very strong platforms that demonstrated one critical and essential component that you'll see as a common fiber in this presentation and in the theme and mission of Petros Pharmaceuticals. Hey, can, I, can, I, can I interrupt you for a second? Can, can we go to uh, present mode potentially so it's easier to see? Absolutely. Perfect. There we yes. go. There we go. You got it. So, so as, as we were saying, the common fiber of access, this is the transformational medicine component that we'll talk about significantly. Petros Pharmaceuticals is a prescription-based pharmaceutical company with over-the-counter specialty support, guidance, and expertise. And we are certainly direct to consumer sensitive and focused. And I think that's the common fiber that speaks to the platforms we just mentioned as far as digitalization. digitalization. The component of digitalization is essentially ease of access, unhindering and unrestricting the concept of self-care. That's the beauty of the frontier that's emerging today. So as, as we dive into Petros Pharmaceuticals, we talked about the transformational approach, but the other component is we are male consumer specific at this time. So men's health is critical. If you'll recall mid nineties, you had Congressman Bill Richardson, you have President, President Clinton. Uh, they started to see that the health outcomes of men almost three decades ago were so poor that it was unaddressed and continues to degrade. In fact, even if you look at, as of today, men are twice as likely to commit suicide they're half as likely to see their physician and they're, they're twice as likely to leverage substances, alcohol being uh, a key component of that for anxiety causes and, and, and so forth and so on. The critical component of all that is men tend to try to live for the ones they love. And once their health fades, so does their involvement. That is a critical mission for Petros Pharmaceuticals. So as we continue down the story, look for that. Uh, and, and referring back to uh, Bill Richardson and President Bill Clinton, hence you have June Men's Health Month. And today you have even a Men's Health Caucus within the White House. So the, the movement in focusing on approaching men's health is alive, real, and has been has been on mind for some time. We're going to take it to the, to the next level. We'll transition over to the ED market. So our flagship product is Stendra. And Stendra is a, an erectile oral erectile dysfunction pharmaceutical. And it has been on the market for a few years. It does compete with some of the other big players. It has a very interesting story uh, that we'll talk about as we proceed. Uh, but let's talk about the market landscape. We talked about men not mobilizing to care for their health. You would think erectile dysfunction, and after the days of Viagra and Cialis and Levitra, that certainly that would have been enough of a, of a destigmatization of the, of, the of the landscape that you would have mobilized most men to access oral erectile dysfunction medication. The reality is this, a recent estimate demonstrated that of the 30 million men in the US today that suffer from erectile dysfunction, only about a quarter of them have actually sought oral ED therapy. The rest are relatively silent for predominant reasons. Uh, you'll recall before Viagra and Cialis and, 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 the, and the team of, of, of therapeutics came to market, the condition was called impotence. Then there was a significant amount of marketing and there was a significant amount of awareness and it transitioned to erectile dysfunction, which seemed to destigmatize the marketplace some. It didn't fully do the job. Men are still burdened uh, with, the, with the concept of, I just don't want to talk about it and I don't want to see my physician in regards to it. Uh, and, and that's a problem. That's a problem. So you'll see that this, this landmark, this landscape, uh, uh, situation is an area where we we intend to play and where we intend to, to change the landscape. In fact, <clears throat> I'll mention this, this is also critical. With the advent of some of these telemedicine platforms we just discussed, they've also unearthed a younger demographic that's suffering from ED, which is remarkable. We used to think that this was a condition that affected 
ages 45 to, to 65, 70. In fact, we're starting to see that one in four ED patients is newly diagnosed are now under 40, which means that there is a significant component that are starting to experience erectile dysfunction much earlier than we had imagined. So that 30 million men in the US could very well be a greater number considering that there's, there's a tremendous amount of silence around erectile dysfunction. We'll talk about what we're gonna try to do to address that. So let's dive into Stendra. This is, as I mentioned before, our cornerstone asset. It is a distinct and patent protected oral pharmaceutical FDA approved. The molecule is distinct in and of itself. And it actually has uh, specific label specific uh, attributes to it that I'll invite everybody to, to access stender.com, take a look at the label, take a look at the, uh, the molecule in, in its full entirety, indication and safety all, all the way. And I'll, I'll say that what we're looking to do with this asset is the last standing and only standing branded pharmaceutical is to leverage its availability and to make it more accessible to men than ever before across the entire class. Meaning uh, processes such as Ensure, which was FDA uh, discussed and announced, it's been on FDA's radar for some time. Ensure is essentially non-prescription utilization of prescription medications. That's leveraging various technologies that allows patients to screen, put in their information, be screened, and get their medication without having to, to, uh, to uh, uh, speak with a physician. Um, in addition, this is an exciting component, and FDA has termed this as the consumer has spoken, and the consumer has elected the concept of, of self-care. So over the counter, our aspirations and ambition is to work with the FDA to do the necessary work, to allow Stendra uh, to become over the counter. That would be an unprecedented move in that there, today there are no oral ED prescription medications over the counter. If you'll recall, uh, when you look at, at a tremendous platform as mentioned before, such as 4HIMS, 4HIMS essentially made the doctor's visit a private engagement. The patient clicks, fills out the survey, gets cleared by physician, meets with a physician via phone or telemedicine, their prescriptions issued and mailed to their door. That alone has mobilized a significant population of men. And it's demonstrating that men are responsive to destigmatization, discretion, ease of use, and privacy. Uh, and so this is an access. These are com critical components that have spoken to, to the marketplace that we're going to look to, to leverage and meet the consumer where they wanna be met. Stepping into another condition that is significantly underserved. And uh, this, is, uh, this is an area where there's a tremendous amount of opportunity to create awareness, education, but to also find therapeutics that meet this condition. So Peyronie's disease. Peyronie's disease is a fibrotic condition that is eventually results in penile deformity, and some, and oftentimes curvature, which impedes on sexual engagement, self-image, self-reflection, significant psychosocial and psychosexual uh, impact on mental health. Peyronie's disease is probably one of the most unknown uh, secrets that men struggle struggle with. Initially, we thought it was a very small number. Today, we know that it could be as prevalent as approximately 11 million men just in the U.S. today. It's based on a market research study where patients were asked, do you have these symptoms? And do you have these conditions? Have you been diagnosed? Only 0.7% responded, yes, I've been diagnosed. I've seen a physician and I have Peyronie's disease. Nearly 11% beyond that said, I have these conditions, I don't know what it is, and I don't know how to get an answer. So it is a significantly underserved and unmet need. Today, what the market offers for Peyronie's disease is a series of injections, which are the best FDA approved therapeutics on market today. Uh, that's for the condition once it gets a little more chronic and a little bit more uh, stable, um, or invasive surgery. Invasive surgery, has a tremendous impact. 
we're talking about surgical process on the penis, uh, impacting nerves. The man is never the same again. So, so these are the only options today that are available uh, to, to a patient with Peyronie's disease. So we have ambition and we have intent, and we're currently working on a product uh, that may be the first potential topical treatment for Peyronie's disease for the earlier stages and potentially even in the, in the earlier to moderate stages. This means once a man begins to see symptomology, curvature, pain, uh, palpable plaques or plaques in general, scarring of any kind, they could apply this early in the stage before it calcifies and before it ostifies and take the matter in their own hands early on before they have to see invasive treatment because this is a critical, uh, a critical intervention. The earlier, the better. Uh, oftentimes late late intervention uh, is is uh, is an issue. Transitioning into also our device business division. So our, our device business division is um, one of our greatest opportunities. So if you have not seen vacuum therapy systems, vacuum therapy systems have been around for some time. In fact, our two brands, Osbon Arecade and Postivac, are two of the most enduring flagship products within the space of mechanical erectile dysfunction therapy. These are non-prescription. These are available to all patients suffering from erectile dysfunction. In fact, the AUA has recommended vacuum therapy systems as, as early to moderate intervention treatment. And in some cases, there's been research studies to demonstrate that this device works also extremely well as an augment to oral ED therapy. A, a segment of the marketplace that has not been fully tapped into, which we intend to. So let's talk about the vacuum therapy systems. This marketplace, the device ED marketplace, has the potential of growing to approximately $51 billion by 2026. And, and that's because, again, of the concept of self-care, because men are becoming more proactive in taking care of themselves and finding therapeutics that they'd want to be able to control and apply in discretion and in privacy. These devices are today sold online by a number of distributor partnerships, including Walgreens, and they're available by a click and purchase for, for men to, um, to take on. We are currently in the works of creating a consumer awareness and education around these devices. Currently, their mainstay, their popular position are for men who have suffered prostate cancer radical prostatectomies, for example, or who have had some sort of penile injury for, re for rehabilitation. And certainly it is an incredible therapeutic for those candidates where it's not fully yet realized, which is going to be the core of our consumer education, will be this is an, a very strong augment to early to moderate erectile dysfunction and may be used in augmentation to oral ED therapy, according to clinical studies that have demonstrated so. So this, this device portfolio is another critical division that we're looking to bring to consumer and make the acquisition process as simple and as click single kick, click friendly as possible. So let's talk about what we started with, the transformative uh, element of our business. We talked about empowering men to self-care and empowering men to have the consumer choice with the discretion and privacy on their time in the immediacy necessary to be able to empower them to have therapeutics available to them at their local grocer whether it's over the counter or nutraceutical or to even be able to switch a prescription medication to over the counter we'll talk about why we have some special expertise behind us around that movement but that is one of our core elements. We are diverse in our passion to meet men with valuable therapeutics, innovative therapeutics in all frontiers, in all pathways, wherever he prefers to acquire his medication. Again, local grocer, local pharmacy, to online, to, to prescription, to physician. We are going to be a multi-channel value to, to the men, male population. I'll quickly mentioned in the past, uh, I'll, I'll mention the example of Auxilium Pharmaceuticals, if anyone's aware of, of that organization. Auxilium Pharmaceuticals took on the role 
of a men's health company. And uh, they actually found themselves acquiring a portfolio of high value men's therapeutics, endopharmaceuticals, these are all prescription, purchased Auxilium for $2.6 billion. That was in essence, one of the critical important moves in the men's health pharmaceutical business. Endo today continues to have a strong men's health presence as a part of their divisions, uh, a, a array of divisions. This is only the beginning. We intend to take it to an omni-channel accessibility platform for men to, uh, to meet them where they prefer. I'll touch on some of our critical talent and leadership. So for those of you that may not be aware, Juggernaut Capital Partners, uh, with about a billion, a billion and a half uh, asset portfolio run by John Shulman, who's also uh, the, it's the capital uh, partnership that actually has companies such as Consumer Foundation, Foundation Consumer Healthcare, excuse me, ZOA, Voss, Water. These are tremendous brands within the juggernaut portfolio. And John Shulman happens to be our executive director. And at, at one point, Metuchen, which was the private entity of this organization, was within his portfolio before going public on December 2nd and reverse merging with Neurotrope because of its men's health value and portfolio. So John Shulman, a tremendous guide leader and, and visionary to our organization, we are happy to be uh, led and guided by him and to work alongside his team as well. Another component I mentioned earlier, expertise and specialty around taking prescription to over-the-counter. Greg Bradley, CEO of Foundation Consumer Healthcare, one of the organizations within John Shulman's juggernaut portfolio, as I mentioned before. Greg is also on our board. Greg was responsible, Greg and his team were responsible for taking Plan B one step, which was a significant move from prescription to over-the-counter. And today, Plan B one step continues to grow significantly uh, time frame after over time frame and has become the number one selling SKU in the US. We have Greg and his team on, on our staff and are supporting supporting our engine on looking to take Stendra to unhindered and preferably in many ways uh, over the counter in the very near future. Happy to have these two extremely talented visionaries behind us. They give they empower us and give us a special competitive uh, benefit around that. I'll quickly top this off. In addition to, to, to John Shulman and Greg Bradley, uh, I'll mention I come from an array of strong pharmaceutical organizations, companies such as Forest Laboratories, Endo, Novartis, Adapt Pharma most recently for Narcan nasal spray. Uh, we, we took those that product and its sales uh, to significant heights, which then eventually sold to Emergent Biosolutions for three quarters of a billion dollars. So it's it's about taking small organizations with big vision, transforming the, the the healthcare landscape where it's specializing, providing tremendous value, and increasing its enterprise value to to new heights uh, all around. With that, uh, my presentation is complete. Spencer, if any, there are any questions, I'd love to. Yeah, in. yeah, I have a question. So, and you, you sort of mentioned this earlier, uh, but you talk about the ED market. You mentioned drugs like Viagra and Cialis and the Vitra, and I, I hear those and I think commercials on TV, and I think about the companies behind them, right? Teva and GSK. Um, what what is what 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 is your um, I guess, how are you competing with them? The OTC thing, is that sort of the big the big thing here, the big value out here? That's a great question. It's a great question. So first I'll talk about the pharmaceutical marketplace today where Stendra plays in a fully genericized market. This will speak to your, to your question. Then I'll talk yeah. about the OTC icing on the cake value. So today Stendra being the only brand playing from a prescription perspective, physician and retail pharmacy, it continues to grow. We're talking quarter over quarter and certainly year over year. So the brand itself continues to demonstrate a stronghold in, in patient value. Um, I'll, I'll venture to say that if you go to Sendra.com, look at how Sendra is, is recommended to be dosed. It's recommended to be taken as early as approximately 15 minutes. When we talk about the spontaneity of sexual intercourse and engagement, the intimacy, there is a rhythm to lovemaking. And in fact, I'll quickly mention there was a study that was conducted I believe it was University of New Hampshire. We call it the foreplay study. It looked at foreplay script and intercourse script. And what they went, they asked men and women, what is the time frame, the ideal time frame for foreplay? You have to be stimulated. You have to be engaged before any erection occurs. Both parties, both men and women in that study came back 
And among all the things we disagree on, this was actually a point of agreement. They both came back with 18 minutes. So to answer <laughs> your question today, today, Stendra has a value in terms of its FDA recommended administration, timed administration to be taken as early as approximately 15 minutes. So there's that, and then there's the OTC thing. The, 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 those are the two value adds is what I'm getting at here. That is correct. Okay, got it, got it. All right, uh, Fadi Bakhtar is the president and uh, chief commercial officer of Petros Pharmaceuticals. Link up on the screen, ticker up on the screen. Uh, Fadi, thank you so much. You got it, Spencer, thank you. Good to be with you.